Yeah, I think to have the brief of climate from the Royal Academy, you know, it's such a broad subject, but then for us within Rayburn, it was really important to do something authentic and honest to the way that we work. What can we do to reduce our impact on the environment? And I really wanted to make sure that came through within the piece itself. It's made right here in, in Hackney, and it's made, in fact, entirely using either found objects or recycled items. So we have a beautiful um, 1970s map. It's called an ONC map. And then we have our, our parachute, which really is a staple for us as a brand. And then we've actually reused an old um, LED light fitting to make our own light box that then provides this frame and this, this structure. And I guess it's been quite a pragmatic approach to, to design. I think the moment you reconsider, well, can a map become art or can a light box become a frame? You know, all of these things are already here. And um, for me, I just think the, the, the best thing we can do when, when we're considering this big topic, climate, is just think, well, how do we approach it through our lens? And then how do we really adhere to the values that we believe in? So after the gold rush, uh, for me, started actually with a, with a memory from, I think it's from my early university years, there's an amazing song that's always um, touched me, to be honest, um, a great deal. So Neil Young, After the Gold Rush. And it's one of the most beautiful songs I've ever heard. And it has this incredibly powerful lyric. Look at Mother Nature on the run in the 1970s. And I remember hearing that lyric as a, you know, as a young designer and it struck me that, wow, you know, Neil Young's written those lyrics, sung that song over 50 years ago. We have this beautiful map from the 1970s, but of a very specific area. It, it charts the Aral Sea, which um, I, I guess I knew quite a lot about. I studied in my, in my late teens um, about the Aral Sea and particularly around desertification. So a lot of cotton farming was drawing... Um, drawing lots of water from from the environment and essentially you now have this incredible reality where you've now got boats that are in the middle of the desert when they used to be in the middle of the sea and I think what's really um, chastening is that this map from 1970 shows the Aral Sea at its extreme you know it's um, it's bountiful vest for want of better words and then if you look at satellite imagery today it's about 80 percent reduced you know it's absolutely phenomenal but within this 50 year time period this whole sea has been reduced by that amount and I think um, for me it's it's really symbolic of what we're doing as as, as humans in general and for me I, I almost do look at it as this cartography of time and this opportunity again hopefully to arrest to awake people to hopefully shock people in in the right way and that's really what we try to do within within Rayburn we're always looking for new systems new ways of working and and I hope by bringing together our iconic materials so the maps and parachutes this idea of light so in its own way hope but then with a pretty chastening subject we're um we're creating something as I say unique and certainly something that we we believe in here we joke kind of internally that um the the studio it's like a, a spaceship right um invariably i love that analogy that uh on apollo 13 there's a beautiful shot where essentially you've got the um <laughs> you've got apollo 13 about to go around the dark side of the moon windows freezing up and everything else and then on earth you've got beautiful shot where they walk down space command with uh, a cardboard box full of all of these different bits of the spaceship empty it out on a, on a table and say well if we can't fix the problem down here they won't be able to fix it up there because this is everything that they've got. And I think it's a really nice analogy in the way that we quite often work within, within Rayburn. It's really, I'm pretty confident that, you know, we've got this fantastic studio, we've got an amazing opportunity. And the truth is we're problem solvers, you know, that's the very nature of being creative. I really wanted to use something, I guess, that, that meant a lot to me personally, but I also knew it would resonate outside of outside of fashion, outside of art, outside of, uh, of all of us, you know, it's of cultural significance and certainly climate significance.